This is the 2024 Yamaha YZ252 Stroke. I'm Josh Mosman, and welcome to another MXA tested video. The base model for the YZ250 retails for $7,999, but this is the 50th anniversary edition, retailing for $200 more at $8,199. Comes with the white plastics, purple seat, and also the 90s inspired graphics for the 50th year of the YZ250 model. This bike has not seen any major changes since 2006. That's when it was first introduced. With lots of little changes since then, it's a refined model that we love to ride. in the making of this YZ252 stroke. This bike was new in 2005 where it got this same exact aluminum frame and engine. And then in 2006, it got the KYB SSS forks. These forks set the standard in the motocross and supercross world for production level suspension that you can buy straight from the dealership and have a blast on. I had a blast on this bike today. It's a great time getting back on the YZ252 stroke. Plenty of power to have a ton of fun on the track and just it's just a comfortable bike. It's just great for blowing up berms and making some roost here at Glen Helen. 2006 was when this bike got the updated KYB SSS forks. In 2022, it got the updated subframe with the all new bodywork. However, the engine has not seen any major changes since 2005. The YZ125, yes, it got a new engine in 22, but not the YZ250. <laughs> So I got to ride the bike for all the photos and videos today, but MXA's Dana Stapleton, he's got a ton of time on this bike and rode it as well. What do you think about a bike that uh, hasn't changed in 20 years? I actually think it's pretty good. You know, the consumer can benefit from it. There's lots of aftermarket accessories. Local suspension shops know a lot about it to help people set their bike up. And this bike is easy to set up along with the carburetor, throttle cables, all the stuff, cable clutch. Any kid, any person can pretty much get an owner's manual and work on this. So over the years, I've definitely hammered this bike. Had the Yamaha guys, you know, come on Stapo, what's going on here? And you know what? Now I'm just thankful that they're still making bikes and with the super trick KTMs uh, that people have a hard time working on or don't have access to working on, I'm actually really thankful they're still producing this bike that is easy to work on. And believe it or not, this bike still works really good. Chassis still really good, great suspension on it. And it's uh, pretty fast for the same modern bike. They haven't updated in almost however many years now. 20 years. 20 years, yeah. So over the years, we've definitely been hard on the YZ252 stroke. The MXA gang has definitely had some negative things and a lot of pluses. This bike has won many of things, many shootout, been praised a lot. But now that KTM and other companies have come in with Super Tech, two strokes, TM, other brands. We're actually really thankful this bike's easy to work on, easy to maintain, it lasts a long time, and they still make two strokes, which is really awesome, uh, keeping the two stroke brands alive. So overall, I'm just really thankful that Yamaha is still producing this bike and it works good. <laughs> compared Yamaha and KTM for a long time now. 
Uh, I've only been at MXA for five years. Dennis, what, 20, 25 years? 2002, I really started jumping in and doing a lot. Yeah, so and 22 years. So he's ridden this model and all of the bikes in the MXA Wrecking Crew for a long, long time. Every article I read about the YZ models, we, we are harp on, it doesn't change. And every year it was kind of a joke that the YZs two strokes never got updated. Now with electric bikes looming in the future, with four strokes getting more and more expensive and harder to work on every year, with fuel injection now jumping into the two stroke market with KTM Husqvarna and Gas Gas, the electronic power valve, electronic starter. Most riders like myself think two strokes should just be a kickstart. Two strokes should just be a simple carburetor where you can jet the bike and go. So yes, there are pros and cons to that fuel injection that KTM pioneered for the two stroke market and for the motocross models. And we like those too. They're more race ready bikes, but when it comes to a, a 250 two stroke that's simple, easy to work on and fun to ride, you really can't beat this. We tested a project bike recently, the Ride Engineering, had a ton of parts on, Twisted Development did the engine and the jetting on it. Ton of fun. I mean, I just, it was one of the most fun bikes to ride. And uh, now hopping on this stock model YZ250, it's such a great platform to start off from. And there are so many aftermarket upgrades like Dennis already said. So uh, it's hard to beat a YZ250. We've changed our tune. We were hard on it for not changing. Now we're thankful that they haven't changed. <laughs>this video at this point you're a true two-stroke loyalist or you're interested in buying a new yz250 two-stroke we have tons of reviews bike tests and videos on the yz250 platform motocrossactionmag.com to see project bikes we've built built pro circuit bikes twisted bikes we've done 300s we've ridden all kinds of yz two-strokes over the years so you guys can find out all kinds of information we're not going to repeat everything in this video because we have so many other videos of the exact same bike this is the 50th anniversary edition though and you have some history with this graphic kit tell them about it yeah my very first brand new motorcycle was the 93 yz85 look very similar to this so the look to me is actually pretty cool because it brings back memories of getting a brand new bike for christmas it's the 50th anniversary of the yamaha yz model they came out first time in 1974 and it's the longest running two-stroke and it's longest running motocross bike uh, over the years and because of that they wanted to do throwback graphics but it kind of throws people off because they're not 50th anniversary graphics they're or they go to the 90s and the 90, 1993 model so good times on the yz252 stroke today thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel please do that so you can stay up to date with our recent videos supercross season is here new bike season is well underway and we got all kinds of cool videos on our channel so we have the shiny yz252 stroke sitting behind us but we're really curious to see what kind of build you guys would like us to do with this brand new bike sitting behind us let us know in the comments what build you would like, pro circuit, twisted, 300 kit, heavy flywheels, you name it, put it in the comments. We'll try to build it. I think he wants to put an electric motor in this thing. Maybe. <laughs> no, I think no, we don't can do find that. One. It's a two stroke, just leave it, just leave <laughs> it. All right guys, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching. No, we won't put an electric motor in this thing. It's a YZ250, good to go. Thank you guys for watching. World two stroke championships coming up in April. Maybe, uh, maybe I switch it up, but go from Gas Gas to Yamaha this year. We'll see. All right guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Did you say like and subscribe? Hey, you don't have to say that. Just say like, you can say whatever you want. You don't have to say thanks for watching. You can say I'm Staple MX. Follow me on Instagram. No, we'll say, uh, I was trying to think of something that would be catchy, but our, uh, if we were to build a project bike, leave in the comments what, yeah. what build you would like to see out of this YZ252 stroke or something. Yeah, say something 